depends a little on the situation that you're in. So it might be that you're working, I don't know, for an, for an organization or for an office where they require you to have, you know, just either or only a British English accent or only an American English accent. It might well be that this is what is required there. But I would say otherwise in the international world, um, um, you know, mixing American English and English English, I think these days we find English mixed with a range of features from other languages also. Um, I, I do remember also in, in education in the Netherlands that um, this is what um, um, Dutch students of English at Vrije Universiteit have taught me that always, you know, at school they were told never mix um, English English with American English. It's something that you shouldn't do. Um, I don't think you know, it affects intelligibility at all. Um, as far as credibility is concerned, uh, like I said, it, de it, it depends on the situation that you're in. But if you're not expected, you know, in your job or at your studies to, to only use English English or American English, then I would say um, it is not a problem for credibility um, um, either. Um, and I would also say that actually, also what I've what I've learned from my students at Vrije Universiteit that they like mixing um, their English, not not only mixing between American English and English English, but also mixing features from you know various other not not only from their native language, but very other various other other places that they visited. Like oh you know I don't know when I was you know doing some volunteer work in Australia then you know I, I use these words a lot and I still like to use them in the English that I speak now in the Netherlands or I've I've had a friend from I don't know from from Spain and uh, there they have this particular feature that somehow I really like so I'm still using it in 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 my own English so I think you know. Um, Mixing American and English, English is, you know, relatively innocent, perhaps. Or it, it can be, it can be a, a much greater mixture between features, maybe from your native language, but also from from other languages that you've encountered. And if you do not find yourself in a situation where they, as I was saying, ask you to stick to one particular accent, I don't think it matters where um, credibility or intelligibility is concerned.